Sometimes lawmakers resort to eye-catching presentations while on the floor to bring attention to a bill they're behind. Yesterday was no different when Democratic Congressman Sean Kasten gave a Fergie-inspired speech to highlight climate change and the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, a.k.a. FERC. Well, let's take a look. As climate activist Fergie would certainly say, the Fergalicious definition is to make our planet cooler. So listen up, y'all, because this is it. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, better known as the F to the E to the R to the C, is one of the most important federal agencies to fight climate change, and if I'm doing this right, one that a few more of you are now keeping track of. Having a well air conditioned home when it's hot, hot, that's Fergalicious. Getting your electricity from the lowest cost reliable source, Fergalicious. An electric transmission system that keeps everything from electric vehicles to steel mills running with zero carbon electricity, Fergalicious. With record setting heat waves already causing deadly droughts, wildfires, and overwhelmed power grids, we've run out the clock and must transition to a clean energy economy, and we need FERC's help. So today I'm proud to introduce the right to timely rehearings at FERC Act with my friend Mr. Malinowski, a bill to ensure that everyone has access to fair and timely hearings at the commission. But Congress can't do this alone. Moving at the pace demanded by the climate crisis will take all hands on deck, and a fully staffed FERC is going to be critical to that success. Well, the video went viral as users either applauded the congressman for using dad jokes to promote clean energy, or they called it out for being too cringe. Robbie, what do you think? Is this cringe effective or both? Uh, it's one of those <laughs> things that is so cringe, it's actually kind of funny. Um, and his commitment to it made it uh, made it enjoyable. Now, is it effective? I have no idea. I mean, it's a kind of gimmicky thing. Uh, I, of course, remember this song, which came out, I think, when I was in high school. Um, and this, you know, this agency uh, actually does have a lot of uh, a lot of um, influence in the climate change discussion. It's I think it's a majority uh, Republican right now. But Biden gets to nominate uh, the so it's three out of five are Republican. And Biden can pick someone. Uh, one of the one of the Republicans is going to retire uh, or leave as soon as Biden picks someone. But he just hasn't gotten around to it yet, which I think has a lot of climate activists kind of like, okay, there's only so much time to get stuff done. <laughs> Please get to yeah. this next. So uh, so yeah. that's interesting. Uh, maybe he can pick um, Fergie for that spot. I don't know. <laughs> I think this was really effective. I mean, look, we're talking about it, right? It went viral on Twitter. I mean. People were, uh, and people are like, wait, what is this FERC? And, you know, people are paying attention. I don't think uh, people knew that Fergie necessarily, some people probably didn't know that she was a climate activist. And so now people know that and, and people know who this congressman is now. And so I think it was actually really effective. I thought I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. Uh, I, I wonder <laughs> what's, uh, what's next. I mean, My Humps obviously is the most famous beloved Fergie song, maybe it could be My Hud or something, House of an <laughs> Urban Development. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow on Rising, we have another great show planned for you all. Friend of the show, Philip Wegman, is with us, and Joe Schrank discusses whether the J&J &J opioid settlement goes far enough. You won't want to miss it. Now, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.